Hi everyone, my name is Omar and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an ingress controller in a private AKS cluster in Azure, but this time we're going to use a different approach. If you remember in my last video here, I show you how to create an ingress controller but in a manual way, like step by step, command by command. This time we are going to use Azure DevOps pipelines in order to automate the process and this will be fun. Like I said in my previous video, I like to create this kind of tutorials in a manual way first. So later on when you get more experience and start creating your pipelines, you really have a solid understanding of what is happening behind the scenes. With that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are in our Azure DevOps project and I wanted to show you what you need to have in order to get, it, get this to work. Let's take a look at the project settings and click in the agent pools and take a look at the agent that I have created and click on the agents tab. I'm using my jump box as the agent. You might create another one in your environment, but since this is for proof of concept, I'm not worried about that for the moment. So uh, remember that since we are working with private AKS and private Azure Container Registry, the Microsoft hosted agent is not going to work because it's a public resource trying to access restricted resource inside your VNet. And this is the reason I'm using a Linux VM in my case as the agent. All you need to do is um, in order to create it, just click on add pool here, select self hosted and give it a name. Next step, it will be just to add the agent. And when you click here, you will be given some instructions on how to install it on your VM in order to register it. Now let's take a look at the service connection. I have two service connections. In one is the Azure Resource Manager and the other one is a Kubernetes service connection. In my case, I'm using the cube config. Just cut the config and copy the output and paste it here. Notice that if you try to verify and save here, it gives you an error. And yes, you guessed it. It's because the AKS is a private cluster. So just go ahead and click save without verifying and it will work. You'll see. Now let's take a look at the repo that I imported and notice that under the ingress folder, I have all the files we were working with in the last video. So let's take a look at the configure-ingress-controller.sh. See that uh, first thing I'm defining my variables like the ingress name, container, registry, URL, and the value is a dollar sign one, two, etc. I'll pass the values in the Azure pipelines YAML file later on. So, and I am gonna sh I'm going to show you that as well. Here I'm passing the values for the images in the container registry I imported in the previous video. We are creating a namespace if it doesn't exist. Next, we will authenticate with the registry using the Helm registry login command using the uh, expose token flag. And we will pull the repository we push in the previous video with the exact version that we are trying to install here. We will do a Helm show chart and you will see it in the pipeline that is grabbing the correct version and then we will run Helm upgrade with all the set commands referencing the images we specified earlier. And we will also pass the ingress values file with the internal IP we want to use. Remember, this has to be an available IP inside your VNet. In my case, I'm using an IP inside the subnet where my AKS is, right? We'll deploy our sample applications then we will delete the validating webhook configurations and we will finalize by creating the ingress route. Now let's take a look at the azure-pipelines.yaml file. And first for the pool, we are using the name of the agent pool I showed earlier. For the Kubernetes service endpoint, this is the name of the AKS service connection. And that's basically it. I will use the set command to inject the values into the script and 
you remember that each of the variables has the number uh, dollar sign one dollar sign two here the ingress name is in the first place of the arguments here in my last step and dollar sign number two and so on etc the working directory is basically referring to the name of my directory here on top which is ingress okay it looks good before triggering the pipeline i wanted to show you that i don't have the ingress basic namespace running on the cluster or any other service as of now the ones you see here are the default ones. So my cluster is clean at the moment. Let's go ahead and create our pipeline. Uh, select where my repo is, the name of the repo. And since I did all my changes, let's go ahead and run it. As you can see, my pipeline succeeded. Let's check the services to make sure it has the IP that I specified on the values file earlier. And yes, you see it here is the 10.100.2.100. Let's go ahead and verify the namespace and that our pods are up and running and there are no errors. There it is. All of them are up and running. Last thing, let's go to my Windows VM to check how it looks from the browser perspective. And there you have it, folks. We have our Ingress controller up and running uh, and we have deployed it using Azure Pipelines. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get the notifications when I upload new content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.